Hey y'all, welcome back to Hippie Chick. We're cooking, it's just a flick of the wrist. So let's get started today. You guys, today we are making pot roast. Yes, 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 a pot roast. So I have already have my pot roast back here in my sink, it's already been cleaned. I have my vegetables over here. I have some baby red potatoes and I also have two stalks of celery and they've already been cleaned as well. I have some carrots here that I'm gonna use. And then over here, I already have a bell pepper that I've already started cutting. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start on the roast itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take it, it's in a colander here, and I'm going to sit it over inside this bowl here. And I'm going to start seasoning. Okay, you guys, I have two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of black pepper, and also two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of Creole seasoning, a half a teaspoon, no I'm sorry, a fourth of a teaspoon of rosemary. I have a beef bouillon cube packet and then I'm going to garnish with some parsley flakes. So let's just go ahead and, and start seasoning our roast. Did, let me let you take a look at this roast just in case you can't see it down inside that colander there. Okay, that's my uh, rump roast. So I'm going to just take it and go ahead and um, Sprinkle a little bit of salt over the top, just like that. Okay, I didn't use all that salt. I just used a little bit of it. And as a matter of fact, let me just put just a little bit more because you definitely need some salt on your meat. Okay, I'm going to go in with the garlic powder. And I'm just basically sprinkling you guys just to kind of cover the top there. Because you want it to be seasoned real good and you want it to be very flavorful. Okay, I'm going in with the black pepper now. And this black pepper, y'all know, is very potent, but it's going to it's going to be very very useful and needed in this dish here. So, don't be afraid of the black pepper. Onion powder. We'll go in and sprinkle a little bit of this on here. This is going to be good, you guys. It smells so good. Creole seasoning just to have a little bit of kick in there. Not a lot, just a little. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of rosemary. You don't want to overpower that with that rosemary. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this uh, parsley paste over. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and season the other side, you guys. So I'm just going to turn it over. Just like this in my colander. Okay. Now I'm going to go in and do the same thing to all my seasonings because you want it to be seasoned on all sides, I tell you. And you guys, I'm trying to save some of the seasonings, you guys, for the vegetables as well. So, definitely want to make sure that everything is seasoned very well. Okay, going back in. Onion powder. Ooh, y'all, that black pepper's getting to me. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, turn this skillet on, you guys, just so it can start kind of heating up a little bit. Okay, Creole seasoning, you guys. All right, you guys. A little bit more of this rosemary. And now, just gonna go ahead and put some parsley flakes on that. Okay, so I have my skillet over here. It's heating up, okay? 
And what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and add some oil to the skillet. Because what I want to do is flour my rump roast. I'm going to just estimate the amount of oil I'm putting in. And I'm going to just say about, I'm going to say two tablespoons. And if I need more, I can go back in and add more. And what we're going to do is flour this because uh, we're going to um, make like a gravy with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point, you guys, I'm just going to pick up my roast here. And I just, yeah, put the rest of those seasonings there over there. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. Take a look, you guys. See that? Got that look good. I'm just moving it around because I do want the sides to get those seasonings as well. The sides of this rump roast. All right. And now what I'm going to do, you guys, let me get a plate real quick. I want to have something to put my fork on here. I don't want to put it on my countertop. Okay, you guys. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and add some flour to this. Not a lot of flour. Just enough to give it a light dusting. Well, I do have a one cup measuring cup, but I'm not going to fill this up at all. Okay, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle, put this back out of the way. I'm just going to sprinkle it over the rump roast. Okay. Just going to turn it on over, you guys. Just so everything can get floured properly. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. And you're just going to move it around in there to give it a nice coat of that flour. And you want it on all sides, you guys. And you, you know, you just do the best you can. If you miss a spot, it's, it's okay. Okay, and I got my oil heating up, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on up and put it on 9, you guys. Because I'm going to let this um, sear really nicely, you guys. And then, um, I'm actually going to put it in the crock pot. See how much flour that, that's in there that's still there? See that? It's just a little bit down in the bottom of that bowl. So it doesn't take a lot of flour, you guys. Just enough to coat it. And I'm just moving it around, you guys. It smells delicious. All right. So, you guys, my skillet here, let me move this out the way, make sure you can see everything, this is what I'm doing. Okay, so my skillet here is heating up nicely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's ready. Okay, so I'm just going to take my roast. You got to stick it really good, you guys. Make sure, you know, it doesn't come off when you put it in. Because if you do, it's going to splatter. And then, you know, you can easily get burned. And we don't want that. Okay. So I'm just shaking out the excess flour, you guys. And now... It's going in. That's what we want. Right there, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and empty this. Put this in the trash. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a nice sizzle there, you guys. Okay, so you guys, while that is browning, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up my vegetables. wipe this counter here. I like to put a towel down, keeps it from sliding, keeps my cutting board from sliding so much. Okay, so, ooh, that smells so good, you guys. Okay, so I've already started, like I said, on my bell pepper. So I'm just gonna take these and put them here on my cutting board, and I'm gonna just go ahead and chop those nicely. like a little coarse chop you guys um it doesn't have to be all the same or anything if you see how that is see what size that is and if, if that's too big or whatever you can also go in with another chop just chop and it's fine okay so and I am, I'm just gonna do a little rough chop. Because I do want mine to stay a little bit um, large because my daughter doesn't eat them. And then that way she'll be able to pick them out easily. All right, so there we go. That's the bell pepper, you guys. Okay, let me um, go ahead and flip this a little bit. Oh. All right. Kind of got carried away over there talking and stuff. But this is good, you guys. All right. So now we're going to let the other side cook a little bit. All right. So now we're going to continue on, you guys, with um, celery. Okay, I have two stalks here. And I've already uh, washed these celery. I like to pull off some of those little Strings there that's on the celery. Okay. And you don't have to make them small like this. You can even do like this. This side. Or you can make them smaller, whatever you want. It don't matter. And I don't like to, like I say, I don't like to do stuff too small just because my daughter, you know, she, she'll want to pick it out. It's just easier for her to pick out when it's a little bit larger inside. So, so I don't make them too, too small just for that reason. And I'm just piling them all over in the same pile, you guys. Ooh, I'm gonna get over here and trim this again. All right, you guys, now I'm going to put it on the side there, see if it'll stand up for me. Let's see if I can get it to stand. Let me just hold that there, though. So it's going to... I want to make sure I get each side and stuff on there. And it's not going to take it long to brown, as you guys can see. You just want to do that because you guys, when you do this, it holds in 
all that goodness, that moisture and stuff, you know, keep it from drying out. It seals in that moisture. Stand up better on this side, you guys. Okay, so that's good for now. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with um, chopping my vegetables. Okay, so I do like to take the leaves though and just kind of, you know, give them a nice little chop there. And I'm just putting them all over there together. Did y'all know that some of them I made large and some of them I made small? And that's just how I do it. All right, you guys, so that's right there, that's together there, okay? So, we check on this. Looks like it's doing its thing. We get it on this last side here, you guys. See, this other side here, it's not as wide, so it won't stand up like this other side was. The other side is much wider, so it was able to kind of stand up on its own. But this side, I'm going to have to kind of do this so I could, like, turn it to the side like that. But, it's, again, it's not flat down in the skillet, so it's kind of the feet the purpose of me doing that. Okay, you guys, I just shrink that on off. So this will be ready, you guys. All right, so now what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm just going to sit this over here. Okay, and now um, I'm going to have to uh, go off camera to get set up with my crock pot, you guys. Um... But I will come back and you will be able to see me to continue to um, season the, the vegetables and putting it over in the crock pot. Okay, you guys, I'll be back in a minute. I am back, you guys. Okay, I have here, I have a ninja, okay? You know, it acts as a crock pot and it also acts as stove top. So today I'm using it as a crock pot. Okay, I moved it here um, on this countertop because I thought it would be better if you guys could have a, a closer view here. So, um, what we're going to do now, you guys, is go ahead and um, take our rump roast and we're going to add it over into the crock pot. All right, just like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and add in the uh, remainder of the vegetables. Oh, yeah, and before I forget, you guys, I forgot to um, put out an onion. So I definitely don't want to forget that. Even though I am using the onion powder, I definitely want to add um, onion to this uh, recipe, okay? So that's what I have here. I have onions here. So... What I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put in my, my potatoes. And these are red potatoes, you guys. The little baby petite potatoes. And I have a little bit of, of some of those celery leaves in here. Okay, so you just put in them around, around your roast, okay? And um, you know I like to layer everything, you guys. So I'm definitely, I'm going to go in with some of these seasonings because I want to make sure that everything has seasoning. Now, 
Okay, that's some of that salt, you guys, okay? Garlic powder. More of our black pepper. Onion powder. Creole seasoning. Just a little bit of rosemary, not a lot. Okay. And so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with our baby carrots. Now you, you can use fresh carrots, of course, you guys, but this was just already done for me. So, you know, anything that I can do easy, I definitely try and do that. And I'm just using basically half the bag, you guys. That of the carrots. Go in with some more of this seasoning here. That's the salt. Now I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it on these vegetables over here, you guys. See that? And that's going to be the last of that. Garlic powder. I'm going to go ahead and season these as well. Save time, y'all. Black pepper. The onion powder. Creole. Ooh, y'all, this smells so good. Okay, just a reminder here of that rosemary. Put some parsley on there just to make it nice. And beautiful, nice and pretty, decorative like. Now I'm going to go in with the remainder of these veggies, you guys. This cutting board is heavy, y'all. And I'm just trying to go around the, um, the sides there. Husband just love a good pot roast. Now this is something my mom used to cook on Sundays. This was sometimes a Sunday meal. And she would also put hers in the crock pot as well. But she used uh, one of those little pot roast seasoning packs. I'm not going to use that today. Okay, you guys. You see that? Okay. Now, that is all the vegetables and everything on that. So, I'm going to go in now with my beef bouillon and just sprinkle it all around. All right, and that is it, you guys. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the, um, the top on. And I'm going to put this on, I'm going to put it on high. 
and it's going to cook for four hours you guys so i'll come back you guys when the pot roast is done okay you guys i'll see you back in a little bit all right you guys i am back okay it's been four hours now and my roast is done cooking so i'm gonna go ahead and and grab it i moved it over to the other countertop so i could have room up here you guys um to do some other stuff but i'm gonna go over here and grab this for you guys real quick okay now you gonna be able to see down in it, babe? Yeah. You see down in there? Yeah, we can see. All right, you guys. This is the finished product of the rump roast with potatoes and carrots. This is our pot roast, you guys. All right, you guys. Well, that'll be all for today, okay, you guys? I'll see you guys later. And please, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and share my videos out. And don't forget the notification bell, you guys. I'll talk with you next time. Bye.